Welcome back to Pentagram Prime, everybody. This is the series centered about z0 equal to 0. And this is 1 over z times z plus 1. This time around, we're going to find the Lorentz series in an area encompassing the absolute value of z greater than 0, but less than 1. The space in the complex plane for this example is basically a disk with a pinhole through the center of it. And since it is on an open interval, it avoids the zeros in the denominator of the function. So in order to break this function down into something that looks like a series, we look to a technique called fractional decomposition. In the previous episode, I talked about knowing the Taylor expansion for sine and cosine by heart. We will not be using those expansions here today. But I'm going to pass out some similar advice about fractional decomposition when I say that if you are taking complex analysis or any other junior or senior level university course in math or physics, then fractional decomposition is something you will need to be able to do in your sleep, especially when everything in the denominator is simply to the first power. If you're hesitant on the subject of fractional decomposition, then find an algebra textbook, locate a list of exercises in this field, and block off a chunk of time at whatever cafe you can find that is still open during the pandemic. You will want to work these problems until they kick you out for having excessive refills. At this point in your coursework, fractional decomposition needs to be considered boring. Otherwise, you probably need to practice it further. Now then, the setup is pretty straightforward for this example with z and z plus 1 both to the first power. Our task here will be to determine the coefficients a and b. On the surface, this looks like we're trying to find two variables with one equation. But this expression actually breaks down into a pair of separate equations if we multiply through by the contents of the denominator on the left-hand side. What we then do is notice that the right-hand side can be separated into components that are and are not multiples of x. And even though the left-hand side is just the number 1, we can express it as 1 plus 0 times x. Thus, we have coefficients on both sides for the components that are and are not multiples of x. And since the coefficients must be equal for both components of the equation, we now have two separate equations. The first equation makes a rather trivial to solve for. And knowing a allows us to plug it into the second equation and use it to solve for b. Now we have an expression for f of z that at least partly fits the form of ORN series centered at z0 equal to 0. But the second term does not presently match the appropriate form. If we change the positive z to a minus negative z, we now have a geometric series in z whose rules for convergence are compatible with the domain of the Lorentz series that we wish to solve for. Expanding this out, we see that the components match the form of a Lorentz series centered at z0 equal to 0, and that it is continuous for absolute values of z between 0 and 1, non-inclusive. If you don't believe me, then plug in any value uh, within the prescribed domain. Always a pleasure hanging out in the complex plane with those of you brave enough to join me here. Till next time, this is Pentagram Prime signing off.